What are you doing? No. Open the game back up. Skip something. Else. All right, gentlemen. I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, oh, okay. this is North before. Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Yeah, that's Vice boys get any on the side. I think the vice boys get any on the side. I keep streaming the my LA North sessions, I may have to lower the graphics quality. It's getting kind of stuttery. Oh, dude. I don't think so. Can you full screen the in Google Hangout? Full screen... That is a good question. I would think so. Yeah. What we're trying to do now, because we we have it set up on the TV. Let's see if we can full screen it. I don't want to drive. You drive. <laughs> you mean you don't want to kill anybody? You're behind the wheel. You get behind the wheel. I don't want to kill anyone today. Yeah, it's, it's my New Year re resolution. I'm not going to kill anyone today. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the uh, DA is going to press charges. Up. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. <laughs> How do you do that? I'll give him something better. With his rage. I like how they talk about the previous cases when you start out on the next case. Yeah. See, she looks suspicious. Harry. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there, and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? Yellow Let's Brick Road, really? Later. Right now we're going <laughs> to take a look around. Okay, let's see where these magnifying glasses are that are supposed to show up. Oh, so it just shows up on the HUD. Interesting. So it doesn't break the immersion too much. And you still have to actually walk over to whatever it was you're trying to find. So 
Seriously, there's nothing important about his hat? Apparently not. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Yeah, just touch the body. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from yeah, behind. fingerprints all over the place. Granted, I don't think there would be any fingerprints on a hit and run. Probably not. Hmm, I seem to remember doing this before. Yeah. Hey, nothing under this arm, <laughs> nothing under that arm. Uh, check his throat. <laughs> check his pockets. <laughs> Oh, he's got a bloody letter in his pocket. Gee, this is familiar. Uh -oh. Patterson, acknowledge the receipt of your application, pre-approval. Bloody blah, rent. But, ooh. Somebody did not like that. Patterson has life insurance. Oh, he's got something in his other pocket, too. Interesting. Oh, well, let's go wallet. New clue. We can notify next of kin. And he's got some money. That's some strange looking money. Well, come on, you're not going to take the money? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> You're doing everything else wrong, why not just take the couple bucks? Might as well, right? And buy yourself a beer. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay, now the face. Creaking. His neck is actually creaking. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Supposed to be looking at something here. Or not. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Hmm. driver managed to break before the impact. Hmm, interesting. So maybe this was intentional. See if there's anything in the trash can this time. 
It's all yours, detective. Nope. <coughs> Can I talk to you? No. Never the same, are they? to say. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. She is from the south. Yeah, it sounds like it. Okay, we're supposed to determine whether she was lying about hearing an argument and coming downstairs. Was I supposed to talk to somebody else first? I don't know. Can you come back to her if you have to? Detective! This might not be important, but... Oh, I can exit the interrogation. Okay. Alright, so maybe try... Is there anyone else there? Well, there's a bartender... Um, a guy over here, a couple people here, so let's talk to the bartender. Oh, we can look at the... I'll take the people. bartender. You work the rest of the room. Oh, there you go. Shrink. Is this that shrink guy again? Come in. I think so. Have Is he seat. like the main villain? Thanks, Doc. How are you finding work and at the clinic? Sure. Can I be honest with you, Doc? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned into sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the we have a chance to help you. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? He's sounding more, evil. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications? Many of their addictions are elite. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. Including your face. His face is gray. Yeah. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna Mrs. Patterson home. Okay. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Okay, I'm getting confused. Who am I supposed to interrogate first? Didn't didn't that guy say something about the bartender? The lady The lady mentioned hearing an arg an argument. Now he's saying something about an argument, so I guess truth. What was it about? Uh no, that was wrong. Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. They didn't play the right music. I think you may need to consult a wiki on this one. That's weird. Why? What 
can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Hmm. So what was he doing outside? Okay, that one I got it's right. Licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Warner were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah, Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester okay. drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm gonna uh, need to I got sign two a out of three. Sure, no problem. You get one. anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> fan of the love tap. Yeah. Oh, we can go out back. Nice. It's prompting me to use intuition to search for clues. Does that mean they're really hidden? I think I should have investigated the whole area before I interrogated anyone. Mm. Stairs go. This may be my biggest crime scene yet. Yeah, it seems that way. Wonder how long until he starts calling me back. Calling me back. Interesting here. I don't know if you can just leave the crime scene and just start wandering the streets. Apparently, he can. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now when the music stops, you've moved out of the crime scene. And what? Oh. Oh. That's interesting. What have we here? A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Interesting. He did have a wound in his chest, which the one guy attributed to the hood ornament. Hmm. 
Hmm, are there any other witnesses I can talk to? some sonic and knuckles <laughs> yep <laughs> or sonic 3 and knuckles to use its proper name indeed yep. okay let's try talking to you again lady tell me more about the argument well there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. An uh, argument all. usually involves two voices. Good. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's she's very real... long now. <laughs> <laughs> she seems real bright. Wow. Yeah, look at that facial expression there. I... Wow. <laughs> Is there um anything up up there, miss? <laughs> Maybe, maybe there is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, there were, there were these two voices that were talking. They were in my head. <laughs> yeah, they weren't getting along very well. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess go with truth. That's. Yeah. She's, she seems too dumb to hide anything. Yeah, I was gonna go with that. Go nope. On. Then the third person. Come Another here, man here. got involved. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. And? <laughs> okay. Wow, we have to question everything she says. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Knocked him clean down the street. Knocked down the street. What kind it of was car terrible. was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. That's old school. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. A, three, B, C. A, eight. A, B, C. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? <laughs> you really think so? You find that driver and put him away. He's a bad man. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. Give it a rest, Bukowski. You best put him away. Make me feel better about the song I wrote about my dead dog. <laughs> From my trailer park. I wrote on my dead dog again. Uh, okay, where's the phone? Damn it! How did I miss that? Uh, dialogue is too funny. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell's going on? There's a dead guy on the street. Figure it out. There, 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 there's blood and guts all over the place. There's three severed heads. What else do you want? <laughs> I said, I don't want all that. Well, you shouldn't have asked. <laughs> yeah, Godzilla just passed through here. And <laughs> Godzilla. Phelps, batch 1247. How can it's I help you, Jenkins? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that She is totally using a computer. Registered to a William yep. Shelton. They existed. The government was hiding from us. Thanks. It's a, it's a conspiracy. 
Said they had computers in the 40s. Yeah. Fast computers, too. Looks like we got a break on this one. I couldn't find that information that quick on my computer. <laughs> you all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> really, lady? Man, the people in this game do not like police. So... Hmm, do we want to go to the Patterson residence or the Shelton residence? Um... Probably the Patterson first, I would think. Yeah, sounds like a good choice as any. So if our suspect is the Shelton dude, we'd want to go there last. Good idea. Wait, isn't this my car? They all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's a police car. Uh, I don't know. It's very dark on the TV. It's a very dark game when you have it in black and white. Yeah. Especially at nighttime. Yeah. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> and where exactly are we going? <laughs> Where, uh, wherever you want to take us, <laughs> don't kill anyone along the way. Yeah, if you don't kill anyone, I'm happy. Yes. No, that's it's a good day. Okay, first things first, can I look in their mailbox? Nope. I don't think that's legal. I'm a cop. <laughs> I'm a cop, I should go look in the mailbox. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? She doesn't look too broken up. Nope. Maybe she staged it. Entirely possible. Let's... Mm -hmm. Can I look at the house first? I want to rummage around our house. I can't rummage your house. Oh, that's a big kitchen. Ooh, I can look at her silverware. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. this. She has knives. <laughs> <laughs> a rolling a pin. Oh. She a rolling pin in a kitchen, you say? That is so surprising. 
So you beat him over the head with it before running him over and stabbing him. <laughs> Seems plausible. Sewing machine. Fireplace. Okay, fine, we can talk. You might want to Can close you tell your me door. what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. That's usually what happens. You don't appear to be too <laughs> upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and I... I beg your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, yes, sister. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? Um, good isn't friends. It obvious? Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Yeah. Look, good I was filing friends. for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son I'll of use the air quotes there. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Oh. Well, Naturally. that explains everything. Naturally. <laughs> she totally looks like she's in a line. Um, hmm, I don't think I have, well, see, but would life insurance connect, because she's obviously lying, but would life insurance connect to him? Maybe, hmm. maybe she would collect money from the life insurance if he died. The question is, do we want to doubt her, or do we want to try and connect the life insurance to him getting hit by a car? Um, hmm. Uh, I don't no, know. Now I almost you think wish... I got nothing better to do? Beat it. I got nothing better to do. Now I almost wish I would have gone to the Shelton residence and talked to that guy first. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe she paid him off. No. Uh, we'll go with doubt, I guess. You expect yep. me to believe that, Laura. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. <laughs> but I had no chance. Sorry for the driver? Really? He's the one that ran off. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. You were always arguing. So what? Okay, she is obviously lying again. Mm -hmm. But they're always arguing. See, but any everything here confirms that they're always arguing. Yeah. But she looks like she's lying. Admit it, you were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. 
You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I got both questions right on that one. Without a walkthrough. That's good. Is she going to close the door? Okay, I'll, no. get, I'll get off your porch. Now she closed the door. I had to get off the porch. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So, where do you want to go? break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, in a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stefan? I didn't know I was making myself out to be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Rockstar sure knows how to make some great dialogue. They definitely do. Oh, what's this? Someone seems to be leaving in a hurry. Oh, and the car looks a little mangled there. That's the son of a bitch right there. William uh, Shelton. Someone's gonna run. Yes. Oh boy. Doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. Oh, look at another chasing. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Oh, whoa. Yep, yep. yep here it comes. Oh, <laughs> no, he didn't. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Uh oh, another one of these. You have to drive. Oh, boy. This should be good. Oops. Now you have to damage your car. Uh, <laughs> no, go around the pole. Sorry, sorry, I'm taking a seat. Oh. Out of the middle of the street, idiot. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Hey. Oh, 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 get away. Oh, 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 Ooh. What did you get there? 
I have no idea. Excuse me, people. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Send him to the station. Go on. Get oh, out. <laughs> Oops. I'm, what happened? <laughs> I'm guessing that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I T-boned another car that slammed into his car and he flew over the top of, of both of them. Guess you're not supposed to kill him. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna have to end it there and go to bed before it gets too late. No. Already, dude. All right, man. Uh, this game is too funny. It is.